This video is brought to you in part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com, your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats, your game, your style. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, back with Game 2 of the match between Mono Blue Illusions and Mono Black Infect. Scudder was on the play for this game and led it off with the Swamp, and then Austin laid down an island and cast the Delver of Secrets. Then for Scudder's next turn, he resolved a Plague Stinger. Austin then played a Ponder and rearranged the cards on the top of his library. He attacked with his Delver, which Scudder took for 1 damage, going down to 19. Then post-combat, Austin resolved a second Delver. Scudder then attacked with his Stinger, giving Austin one poison counter, then post-combat he resolved a Phyrexian Crusader. Austin started his next turn by revealing a gut shot off the top of his library, transforming both of his Delvers into Insectable Aberrations. He then attacked with them for 6 damage, dropping Scudder to 13 and then passed his turn. For Scudder's next turn, he attacked with his Stinger and his Crusader. During combat, Austin paid 2 life, going down to 18 in order to cast his gut shot and kill the Stinger. He then used a Vapor Snag, bouncing the Crusader back to Scudder's hand, taking him down to 12 life. Scudder then used a Geth's Verdict to make Austin sacrifice one of his aberrations and went down to 17 life. Austin then attacked again for 3 more damage, dropping Scudder down to 9. Then post-combat, he resolved a Phantasmal Bear. Scudder then resolved a Whispering Spectre. Austin then laid down a Glacial Fortress and attacked with his Aberration and his Bear for another 5 damage, dropping Scudder down to 4 life. Then on Scudder's next turn, he started off by laying down a Sword of Feast and Famine. He then equipped it to his Spectre and attacked. However, during combat, Austin cast a Snapcaster Mage and gave his Vapor Snag flashback. He then used the Snag to bounce the Spectre and do one more damage to Scudder, dropping him to 3, at which point Scudder went ahead and scooped it up, giving Austin the win to the game and the match. So that's it for this match. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version of this gameplay at the end of the video in the annotations. And as always, if you like this or any other game, give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, and then subscribe and come back for more Magic the Gathering.